Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So today we are back with another amazing Android 13 based ROM but this time it's something different because this is an unofficial build. Being an unofficial this ROM got pretty good features and also customizations and also some really Antutu benchmark score. So introducing the Evolution X ROM version 7.5 running on Android 13. So without any further ado let's get into it and see what it holds. So as usual at the very first time we will see into the system information. So moving down to the settings in about phone section you will get all this information which is running on the latest security patch of 5th of January 2023 with the Evolution X version of version 7.5 and also all the other information that is the kernel which is the Kawai kernel and also Android 13 easter egg that's pretty much obvious. Now the next step is evolution customizations. So the section called as Evolver which you even get in the official builds of Evolution X. Clicking on that you will get this list view where you will get all the customizations you can do. To be honest if it's an Android 13 build then I really don't expect this list view because everyone is moving towards the compact and all in one kind of view for customization as the list view looks very much bulky and not that appealing to eyes. But rest of all, all the customizations they have included is pretty much useful and you can just set any of the customization as per your preference. Regarding notification where you can just set the reticker and all the other option. Quick settings panel where you can customize a whole quick settings and all the other stuff they have included completely. Moving in miscellaneous where you will also get options of parallel space where you can just include all the other applications you want. Also there is something called as the limited photos on Google Photos storage which is really really important and it's needed by most of the people. Also unlock higher FPS and Netflix spoof which means that you will be able to use Netflix application with all the settings you want. You will also get game space, we will talk about it later. Moving further, it's all about the team where it says about the change log, the website, telegram channels and the developer of this ROM. So that's how they have compiled everything in this section. Moving further, uh, long tapping on the desktop settings, you will get the Evo X launcher settings. This launcher is something they have named by the ROM itself where you will get all the settings which you want. Home screen settings where you can just do all the customizations and also the other things you would expect too. This is kind of basic, basic settings but yeah you can do it without any issues. The imd icon and all the other stuffs work perfectly fine. Going to the miscellaneous where you, where you get all the other options such as parallel space and pretty much more. Now let's move to the Android 13 widgets, clicking on it you will get all the widgets that you really want. The very famous widget that is the clock one, just drag the clock and you are good to go. You can just keep any type of design you want and here's your widget working perfectly fine. Moving further in desktop and wallpaper settings then you will get all type of wallpapers you want. You will also get a small monet engine where you can customize different type of colors. So this is the wallpaper settings which you can keep whichever you want and also something called as the feathers where you will get different type of wallpapers in pretty much dynamic color. So that's really good. Also you will get all the other options such as themed icons, dark theme and all the other stuff. And here we go, you will get themed items out of the box. So that's all about the customization and this is very impressive being unofficial they have included everything and that's really really nice. Now let's play some games that is the gaming performance on this ROM. So moving to the settings in miscellaneous as I have shown you that they have included the game space where you can customize all the games you want and do some preferred settings and you can just play your games as per your choice 
have included BGMI and Call of Duty on the performance as preferred mode and also enabled angle as experimentation. And now without any further ado, let's play some game that is BGMI and let's jump to the gameplay of this game. So here we go, I am playing BGMI and this is the TDM match. I haven't faced any type of issue or lags. The FPS counter shows how much frames are getting counted and the entire gameplay was pretty much smooth and lag free. So in terms of gaming too, you will face no issues and you will be fully satisfied. Now let's jump towards the battery performance of this ROM. So moving towards the settings in battery section, you will see that the battery performance of this ROM is pretty much decent. Once I charged 200%, I was able to get about 4-5 hours of screen on time or maybe more than that. Again, it depends from user to user as per your usage but the battery performance was really decent and I was really satisfied with it. So in terms of battery too, you will not face any type of issues and the ROM really provides a good battery backup being an unofficial build and that's pretty much impressive for me. Now let's talk about the CTS or safety net check bypass. So the safety net check bypass here you go in the application. Clicking on test you will see that the safety net check gets passed out of the box. Means you can use all type of payment and finance applications without any issues and being an unofficial build they have also included this so that's really really good. Now let's snap some pictures that is the Evolution X photography. So talking about the camera application we included two camera application which is this one which is kind of a really normal camera and you will get some really basic settings. Though it can shoot 4K video but still they haven't included much customizations and settings to explore. So mostly it's not of any use to be honest. Even in terms of photography, they have included much of the option. But on the other side, they have also included the MIUI camera. So this camera have all the options you would ever expect and you can use for your daily driver. You will get all the options such as regarding photography and also in video you will get up to 1080 60fps recording. You can also use 4K recording and for that you have to use some file and after flashing that your 4K 60fps will be unlocked. So that's pretty much good. I like the ideology that they have included two cameras one is a really stock one and one is the MIUI. So that once you are able to find the MIUI camera working pretty much good then there is no need to separately flash the Google camera or Gcam as the MIUI camera somehow works really good as compared to Gcam and you will get the quality videos and photo. So that's very really much nice. All the options regarding filters, AI camera, setting up HDR on and off, everything works pretty much fine and you will be able to snap pretty crispy and dynamic range photos. So in terms of photography too, I was pretty much impressed that they have included the MIUI camera being an unofficial build and that's something I found really useful that I don't need to flash or download any type of Gcam and that's, that's really nice for me. Now let's move to the security settings and direct sound in answer. So moving towards the setting in the security you will get that you will find the face unlock out of the box. So this is some new UI where you will get all the checks regarding security and also face and fingerprint unlock. So here as you can see that I have using the face unlock and it's working pretty much fine and it's really fast. Let me tell you guys the face unlock is not a normal one but an IR face unlock and you can see this IR blaster blinking. So that's really nice that means you can unlock your phone even in the dark and you won't find any type of issues as I personally used it. And also the fingerprint unlock works pretty much fine and you won't find any type of issues. You will also find the Mi sound enhancer or the direct sound enhancer. You can just enable it and set your type of preset and type of device you are using including the hi-fi as disabled and enabled and you will get pretty much higher quality sound as per expected and as per your need. 
so that's really much nice talking about some numbers let's move to the antutu scores so on checking the antutu score then this device ranks at about 377000 that's really high number because even the lineage os was not able to rank this much high and this being an official build was able to touch this point though i don't rely much on numbers but this number is really impressive thanks to the snapdragon chipset of poco f1 but for those who want to see and are interested in numbers these are the antutu scores now it's time to jump at the conclusion or our final words so I have used this ROM for almost a week and I have used it from every perspective, right from gaming and also as a daily driver. So in my opinion, being an unofficial I didn't expect this much stability and smoothness, as it really feels as if you are using the official build of Evolution X, so that's really really nice. I can blindly say that you can use this ROM as a daily driver without any issues and you won't find any type of issues with it. You will be purely satisfied and you won't regret flashing it. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then, see you again in the next time. Till then, peace out.